what is going on guys? Noon here with MMO Play, bringing your first look and impressions video into One Piece Online, a free-to-play browser-based MMORPG. Now here we are, we have just logged in into the character selection, so there isn't too much for character customization or creation here. You kind of just get to pick uh, one of the three characters and jump right into the game. So, the three classes we have here are the Swordman, the Sniper, and the Devil Fruit user. Um, for which class I'm going to pick, I think I'm going to go with the Devil Fruit user, just because I'm kind of curious to see what powers or, um, you know, skills sh she might get in the game. So, and as for the other classes, they're pretty straightforward. So, let's go ahead and name our character, and get right into the gameplay. So, as you can see, the cutscenes, or not the cutscenes, the loading screens have a uh, resemblance and uh, artwork and stuff like that from the manga itself, which is pretty cool. It, it's nice to see that this game has close ties to, uh, you know, the manga that it's based off of, so that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and start in our adventure and pick up the first quest. So, right off the bat, as you can see, the interface is uh, its nothing we haven't seen before. It's very straightforward. Um, it's very similar to other browser-based MMORPGs, and um, nothing, nothing really new here so far. So, as for uh, right off the bat, we are uh, questing, and it seems like it's kind of having us just run around with uh, some auto tracking and stuff like that. So nothing too difficult so far. And I really hope it gets us into some combat fairly soon, other than just running around all the time. All right, uh, it seems like speak of the devil. I guess we're gonna have some combat right here. Get it, devil? Because we're the devil fruit user. I know, funny little joke I threw in there, but all right. So this is the first fight. We'll go ahead and challenge our opponent over here, and now we get to kind of uh, taste or get a taste of the combat and see how kind of it runs. So let's go ahead and skip the dialogue over here. Don't want to spend too much time reading that. We're gonna want to go over the game and see the combat. Let's go ahead and keep continuing. And uh, all right, three, two, one, and I guess this is, uh, this is how the combat works. So it seems like it's kind of like um. Uh, it goes in waves, or it's a, a long wave, as you can see here, with um, some progression. The more that we take on the enemies, we defeat the wave. And uh, after defeating all the enemies with the wave that comes onto you, you are uh, successful in defeating that uh, that mission or that battle. So, it's pretty cool. It's a little bit different. Uh, most browser-based games kind of rely on turn-based combat. And it uh, seems like this one kind of takes a little bit of a different approach to it with kind of the waves, as you saw there. Or that's kind of like how... Um, how it kind of feels or how it kind of seems to me so we uh we completed that we got a reward and we did pick the highest amount of gold from that uh, mission so that's pretty good not going to complain there free money so let's go ahead and accept our task and keep continuing on so there's auto tracking not a huge fan of the auto tracking quest i like when the games make you explore to go find there as you have to but i mean it's no big deal um it's something that's seems extremely standard in browser-based MMORPGs, so let's go ahead and submit this quest here and uh, claim our rewards. And like other browser-based MMORPGs, it is a very quick progression very early on. It doesn't take one, it does. It takes about one, maybe two quests to just level up your character, so it takes really no time to really get the ball rolling and uh, get things going, but it does seem like it's thrown you into some combat fairly quickly, and it doesn't take long to take on one fight to the next, which I like. I like when the game throws you into a lot of combat and has you doing lots of things other than running around questing all day long. So let's go ahead and skip this dialogue and uh, take on the next wave here. So I assume it's going to work just like the last time, uh, except it seems like there's just one enemy this time. And uh, not there's not too many, but it's pretty cool. Um, I do like the combat, the skills. Um, I, I like the skills and the animation. Um, they're pretty cool, they're a little flashy and stuff like that, so it's nice and visually appealing. So, now that we completed this um, dungeon, we went ahead and got our rewards. So let's go ahead and hit continue. Oh, we'll go ahead and shuffle that and get our uh, extra free rewards. And I guess we'll just pick the center one once again. And we got the lowest amount. No big deal, it's still free money, not going to complain. But let's go ahead and hit continue, skip through this dialogue, and keep going on with our quest line. So let's go ahead and submit that. We got some XP. We are pretty close to leveling once again. Go ahead and accept our new task. And it seems like it's taken us to the tavern. Alright, so let's go ahead and check this out. One million bounty. Alright, so I guess it seems like um, we can go ahead and pick up bounties and uh, find different people to uh, hunt down is what it seems like this is. Which is pretty interesting. I think that's a pretty cool system to add to the game. A good way to... Um, and, oh, it's not a bounty system. It's a, it's a way for us to hire more people to add into our party. Oh, I see. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty interesting system. You can hire um, you can hire bandits and stuff like that. 
and to join your party and help assist you, which is pretty cool. I like that. I like how you can hire like mercenaries and stuff like that to help you out. And um, it seems like you can put a, a higher price in to get a better role for a chance of a stronger ally, which is pretty cool. It's a nice little system. It makes it interesting. I like a little twist to that. Uh, that little twist that they threw in there. So that's a nice little system they've added in there. I like that a lot. So. All right, so let's go ahead and check out our partners. We got a new partner over here. We got this guy. We're gonna go ahead and drag him in over here, and it seems like we can obtain more partners as we level up. As you can see, 10, 20, 35, and 50. So we we will get more allies much longer down the road. The more time you invest into it, the stronger your party can become. So that's pretty cool. I like that. So let's go ahead, hit continue, and uh, skip the dialogue here. We're gonna go ahead and turn in the quest. And um, we got level 5, that's pretty good. But I mean, other than that, guys, this game uh, is pretty straightforward. I like the combat, it's a little bit different than other browser-based MMOs. The skills are flashy, visually appealing, and I really like the ally or the hiring system you can use in this game to uh, obtain more allies and make your party stronger. It's nice, it's cool, it's different. It's something that uh, they don't always throw into browser-based MMORPGs, so it kind of twists things up a little bit. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.